Hey guys, welcome back to Tevin Props and the latest installment of my Lord of the Rings inspired lightsabers. So, if you can't guess which whose this is, this is Gimli's. I modeled this off his giant double battle axe, so I'll put that up on screen now. But the main features that I took from that was the leather handle, these triangle shaped cutouts, as well as the Aztec y looking design that is all up on his axe. So, with those elements as well as hexagonal designs which is very common in dwarven style weapons and armor and just very bold straight edges i think it came out great so this one has an orange lightsaber in there lightsaber blade so i can install a lightsaber friction fits in there perfectly this is for display not combat so with the lights off, you can tell it's a really nice, deep orange color. So incredibly happy with how that looks. And one cool feature I put in the, in the emitter here is I drilled out some holes so the light shows through. Really happy with how that's turned out. All right, so enough about the design. Let's get to how I started making it. So I modeled this completely from scratch. So with the final model, I had it split up into three main sections. That was the pommel, the handle, as well as the midsection and the emitter. So those three pieces together form the basis of the lightsaber. After I was really happy with the model, it was time to get it printing. So I printed this one on my new Creality LDR002R 3D printer. This is a great new 3D printer. Um, it printed out really high quality pieces and really sharp details. So I'm incredibly happy with how those prints came out. So after I loaded them onto my USB drive, put that into the printer it's, and printed them, it's time to pull them off the print bed. To do that, you just put it down and use a scalpel to pull, to kind of wedge in there and remove the print from the print bed. You want to be really careful not to damage the print bed or the prints themselves. After you've got them off, it's then time to put them in isopropyl alcohol to clean off any excess resin. Leave them in there for maybe 20 minutes or so just to make sure that all the extra resin's off. After that, pull them out and clean off all the IPA in so warm soapy water. So once that's all done, you have to just do the final cure um, because when the prints come off the printer, they're not at their 100% strength. So you have to put them in a curing box under UV light for a little bit of time and that just puts them to full hardness. So here are all the prints. The next thing I had to do was move up, remove all the supports, hence why there's a little bit of dust over everything, and then cure them. So to cure these, I just left them outside because it was a nice sunny day. The few extra parts that I've already started working on a little bit are just a couple adapters. So I've got an adapter here, which will go on the end of the lightsaber. And that is where the one inch lightsaber blades will fit in there quite nicely. And I've also got a 25 millimeter coupler it'll go in there and help this will help the handle come apart so those are all the parts that I need I need a couple of pieces of 25 millimeter PVC but apart from that that's all my parts first thing I'm gonna do is cut up all the the extra PVC pipe to the right size so that's one piece that'll be bit that goes up inside the handle and you can see there's a little bit poking at the end that'll be because the pommel has to attach in there so that's how that's going to glue together so now I need to measure the second piece this one's a little bit more tricky because you can see I have a hole for the button here so I have to make sure that that is in the perfect right spot the other thing I need to do is mark where the hole will be I use just a regular drill with a step a bit and make sure it's in the middle. So I know I have to go to that level of the stepper drill to get the hole the right size. Here's all the parts of my lightsaber. Time to put it together. The first thing I think I'm going to put together is the little handle here. To do that, I'm gonna glue the inner PVC core together and then I'm gonna put some glue over the top of that and slide the handle down on top. With all these bits of gluing, you've gotta be really quick with assembling it because super glue and PVC dries up incredibly quickly. So whenever you're doing something, just 
straight to it. Don't, don't try and fiddle around with how it's sitting and everything. Just make sure that everything is, everything is correct before you try and start gluing it together, but you should be able to just glue it in one quick go. Alrighty, here we go. Done. And now, if I tried, that is stuck in there for life. Next one. So this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky, but I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the same thing of gluing this in here a little bit, line it up perfectly, and then straight down. Yep, I think that'll work. <laughs> line it up. Perfect. Couldn't have gone much better than that. If you ever notice that you haven't quite got it centered, you can always take your Stanley knife and just do a quick run around and cut the excess PVC pipe off. But I'm just doing it now to clean it up a little bit. It's actually in the right spot, but yeah, that's how you'd fix it up if it was in the wrong spot. Otherwise, you would try and drill it out and start again if it was really bad. But this one's good. That is exactly what I was after. Now, this end piece I haven't quite decided if I wanted it to be like that or like that. You know what I have decided? I think it'd be really cool if when the lightsaber blade was in we had little holes around the top of the emitter here so that you could see the light coming out there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark those up and then drill them out. So I think holes works really well. It's near impossible to do square holes, so I'm just gonna mark it in the center of each, and then I'm gonna go and drill some semi-wide holes in there, but we'll see what it looks like. I think that's as large as I wanna go, to be honest. All right, let's glue that together now. So you're probably thinking I'm using a lot of super glue. That's because it's not the flushest or tightest fit, but that little bit of extra super glue should create the seal that I need. All right, time to let that sit and dry. I've got all my pieces ready to go. This is the handle. I'm gonna put that aside for now, but this is my handle and emitter section as well as my pommel. These need to start getting painted. So what I'm gonna do is tape off the connection between the handle because I don't want paint getting on that because it's a nice fit, friction fit at the moment. That's never coming off. So I'm going to paint that, uh, cover that so I don't get paint on there. And I'm also going to cover the inside here because that's perfect size for a lightsaber blade at the moment. Again, if I get paint in there, it's going to change that. So I'm going to paint both of these with gray primer to start with, and then we'll go from there. To paint these, I first put down the gray primer. Then I put down a layer of gloss black. So that's a good basis for the aluminum color that goes on top. So as I said, aluminium went on top, but I did this with a hot spray cane. So I put it in some hot water for a little bit and that means it comes out as a really fine mist and I use a really light dusting of it, fine mist, and we get this effect. So that's exactly what I was after. I did that on both pieces. So those bits are done for now. Now let's work on the handle. So I've decided for Gimli, I'm gonna use a leather wrapped handle. So. I think I'm going to use brown leather for this, or brown vinyl, so let's get that and cut it up. So first thing I need to do is just cut off a long strip of it. I'm just gonna leave this to the side with the rubber bands on it so the glue can dry. This has a drying time of about an hour, so it should be really strong by the end, but let's just put that aside and not touch it. The next thing that we can start working on is actually painting and weathering this. So this will be a nice and easy job. So the things that we need is some black paint. Uh, I'm gonna need my silver Sharpie in a second, a few paint brushes, it's always good to have lots of paper towel on hand to clean up your paintbrushes. 
and to wipe off any excess because I'll show you what we're about to do next. So it's always good to water down your black paint. It helps spread it evenly. It means that you don't have a super hard time getting it all off after. So what you do is just put it in over the whole lightsaber. All the black paint watered down a little bit over the whole thing. Now we just go back and wipe it all off. So this means that all the black will catch in all the nooks and crannies and really bring a bit of life to it. So overall, it'll take away a bit of that shine and that gloss that was on it before, but that's actually a good thing because I think it was too shiny. It, look, it just doesn't look real. So when you add that black paint over everything and rub it off a little bit like this, it really makes it look next level. So if you want to go back in and add a little bit more because you think you removed too much from certain sections, so I'm just looking at these bits around here. And you can just go back, add it in, and then wipe away any excess. All right, so I think that one's done. Let's put it to the side for now to dry. It'll dry pretty quickly. It's just black acrylic paint, so it does dry very quickly. And now we can do the pommel. Done. So, it's a little bit messy, so I'm gonna go wash my hands, and then we'll come back and we can do the highlights. Right, now it's time to start working on doing the highlights. So you can see there, it looks really good, but adding highlights on top will just add that extra layer. So I've got a silver Sharpie here, running very low on ink, but enough to do this. I've got my dry brush. So what you do is just get a tiny bit on the end of your brush, and then I'm gonna just go over on the highlights. So the highlights are just kind of where it will naturally scratch off, where it'll be sitting on the table, so all that kind of stuff. So pretty much just edges, and it really adds just an extra layer to it. So the highlights, you can see there, is where you really want to highlight all the scratches and that's what really makes it look real and that's kind of the best part to it all. So I'm going to let those sit there and just fully dry and we can move on to the next step. Next step that I can start working on while my parts are drying, while the handle's still setting up, is to work on the electronic side of things. So I've got these torches here, they've got a lens attached to them, um, rechargeable USB batteries, these are, these are really great. Um, they're really compact and that's what I'm really after. So what I need to do is first take off the parts I do need. Don't need that. And now I've just got to cut along here and take out the inner workings of this. So I'll go and do that now. I just know, I know that I've got to cut in this section here. If I cut anywhere else, it won't get me what I need. But if I cut along here, that's exactly what I'm after. So I'm gonna go do that now. Alrighty, here it is. So pulled apart. We've got our lens, which we need. We've got our button, our inner workings. I also have a spacer, as well as a few light filters. So these are orange, because I've decided that Gimli is gonna have an orange lightsaber. So these are all the components that I need. I've just gotta go and take this lens out of this silver housing. So there's all my parts ready to go. Um, as with all my other lightsabers, I want to I want to sticky tape and not glue together. So sticky taping stuff together makes it sound like it's a really shoddy job, but in all honesty, just in case something happens and I need to be able to pull this apart and fix things, I just want to use sticky tape because if you glue stuff, it makes it permanent and if something goes wrong, you can't really fix it and you've got to start again. So the way that this is going to go together is we're going to have our light, a spacer, our lens, and then our two filters. So I'm just gonna start gluing up, taping that all together now. So I've got my light source. 
nice orange color there. And I've got my lightsaber blade, or my lightsaber handle here. So this needs to insert up into there. And I need the switch to match up with the hole that I pre-modeled into that section of the lightsaber. So this friction fits in there quite nicely. You want it as tight as you can possibly get it to friction fit, but also enough so that you can still remove it later if need be. So I've got my switch here, which now will just slot in there. My handle's been sitting there drying for a few hours, so I think this is good to remove these rubber bands. And now I've just got to cut off all the excess. So I'm gonna just use a sharp Stanley knife and then just make my way around. Now it's time that I can glue the pommel on, so I'm just gonna use straight super glue for that. Nice and simple. There we go guys, that is Gimli's lightsaber. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really like the nice clean edges, very good print in the end. So yeah, incredibly happy with how that's turned out. The lightsaber blade pulls out in the end there quite easily. And to charge this, it actually separates at the handle and at the midsection here. So then USB charging, you can just get a USB extender you can plug that in and charge it so nice and easy there we have it guys thank you very much again for watching hope you enjoyed like subscribe check out all my other videos i'm going to keep working on these lord of the rings inspired lightsabers and who knows what theme i'll do next harry potter marvel let me know what you want me to do and i'll do it so i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one see you later